In this video we're going to go over the different types of flux. So here we have a flux pen. It's a Kester flux pen to be exact. We have our flux paste and we have our actual solder. Now you might be asking yourself, well why are you showing me that? That doesn't look like flux. Well, all solder uh, has is essentially carved out on the inside and contains flux inside the wire itself. Um, this is to help the solder stick to the tip of the iron whenever it's touched to the to the tip. Um, it also helps to well, it's flux is what it is really, and it, and it, they just incorporate it inside of the wire, so then that way you don't have to worry about adding more flux to a specific area, um, as it's already included in the wire. Now, I'll tell you that most of the time this will burn away whenever soldering, so it's always good to have some extra flux on hand. Um, but assuming that your the surface you're working on or your tip are clean. You can get away with just using this, however, I do like to use some extra flux at times just to make sure that the surface is clean. Uh, and depending on the flux you're using, flux can also help keep the components in place while you're soldering. So putting that aside, here we have our flux pen. So this is works just like a regular pen would or a permanent marker as you unscrew the tip. And here you have um, the actual uh, the tip of the pen here which is soaked with flux. As you can see on the inside there we have flux inside the pen. So the way that this works is you put pressure on the tip here and you want to have it down at like a, a vertical angle because we want gravity to pull all of the liquid through and you put pressure on the tip and you can essentially just write on the area that you want to work on to get flux in that area. So this does work quite well and it does help to add a little bit of extra flux to the area that you're working on. Now over here we have our flux paste. Uh, this stuff works wonders, especially if you're working on components that are rather small, such as a micro USB port or a DC jack or any kind of component that's small. Uh, these also work great for diodes, by the way. So um, just like your flux pen, you just apply it to the area you want to work on, but it's it's in a more, more or less a syringe looking device here, and you just apply it to the area you want to work on by pressing on the back here. Um, if this has not been used, in quite some time the there will be some dried flux in the tip and once you put pressure on there it'll again push that dry flux out and then you'll you don't want to push on it too hard because you're going to have backup uh, and because of the pressure that you applied it's going to push more out so you just want to be careful when applying this uh, do it slowly and don't put a lot of pressure on the the actual applicator uh, lever here because we don't want to make a mess everywhere so you just apply this to the area that you want to work on you don't really have to use a lot and once it's done and you've applied enough you can then go ahead and place your components on there and because it's rather sticky it'll hold the components in place so it works just like a flux pen but the added benefit to using something like this is it helps keep the components in place and this also works great uh, whenever you're trying to desolder something with a soldering wick which I'll go over in another video